A fossil is a remnant of prehistoric life embedded in rock. Either the actual remains of an animal or plant, or an impression left by decayed remains. Most fossils are millions of years old, and remind us that humans have been around for only a small part of the Earth's existence. Fossils are manufactured by nature, but collected and preserved by man for display in museums as well as in private collections. One of the world's richest fossil deposits is located in the U.S. state of Wyoming. Fifty million years ago, the area was a freshwater lake. But with climate changes, it gradually dried out, leaving wildlife and flora buried under layers of sediment. Over time, that sediment hardened into sheets of rock, containing fossils of those life forms. To find fossils in what were the shallower outer edges of the prehistoric lake, they drive thin blades about a centimeter deep to loosen and separate sheets of rock. In this part of the deposit, the fossil is often split between two layers of rock, which is why they call this particular dig area the split fish quarry. They repeat the process, excavating several layers. They typically find fossils of smaller herring-type fish, plants and insects. They carefully separate the large rock sheets into smaller pieces so that it's easy to transport them from the quarry to the workshop. This sedimentary rock is oil shale, a substitute for conventional crude oil. Scratch the surface and it smells. It'll also burn. However, there's not enough actual oil in this deposit to make extraction viable. In the company's second quarry, they blow away surface debris to make it easier to spot fossils. Recovery is more difficult here because this part of the deposit was the deep center of the prehistoric lake and wildlife was buried under far more sediment. It takes a highly trained eye to see the slight shadow which a fossil's ridges cast on the ground. After outlining their find, they use a diamond blade saw to cut around it. They remove the surrounding rock to be able to slide their thin blades underneath. Then gently extract their treasure. This is a tricky procedure. One wrong move and the fossil shatters. In the workshop, under five times magnification and using a variety of sharpened tools, they carefully scrape away the surface until the dark color of the fossil shows through. To fully reveal a fossil this size takes 30 to 40 hours of tedious and meticulous work. As for the rock sheets from the split quarry, they saw the fossils apart, neatly framing each one within a rectangle. Layers flake off more easily from split quarry rock than from the harder rock of the other quarry. Once a fossil is completely exposed, they seal and protect the surface with a light coat of spray-on acrylic. When exposing a fossil, it's critical to keep sharpening the tools on a diamond file. layers of rock have to be scratched off varies. A fossil can be sitting right on the surface or be buried a centimetre or two beneath it. This freshwater stingray, a rare find, is about as intricate as a fossil gets. This took more than a month to prepare. The detail of this large palm leaf fossil is astounding. You can actually see insect bites. And as this leaf fossilized on that prehistoric lake bed, so did the fish swimming around it. It produces an incredible snapshot of life from 50 million years ago, now firmly set in stone.